Hey guys, so I've been telling a few guys that I was going to update a picture or <laughs> update uh, everyone with what's been going on. Um, so I've been making a little bit of headway, uh, but first things first. Matt. Awesome, man. This thing's bitching. I really appreciate you uh, donating to the cause. Um, Jim, I appreciate you transporting this seat for Matt. That was awesome. Thank you guys very much. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, really don't have anything to document. Been working, but just nothing. I mean, uh, been working on the uh, pressure plate transmission here. Uh, I changed the, the shifter. I had to take this one apart here. Take this off and then there's a spring and a locking clip in there that holds the shifter on. Boy, those are a bugger. I, I found out after I was done that there's a tool for that. Um, but changed that out so I got a full length shifter in the truck. Um, now the problem I have is the shaft. See that hole right in there. Shaft for the pedal assembly goes right here. Um, on my synchro mesh transmission, that thing's riveted. It's riveted in there, right here. This one, I don't have the bell housing, so I don't have the pedal assembly on this one. That one doesn't have the post at all, so I'm, I think I'm missing that. Uh, or at least, I don't know if I have to drill that rivet out, shave it off, knock it out, and still use that pedal assembly, don't know. Don't know if it'll work. But I'm also missing like a throw out bearing in here. Uh, so I've got a, I don't know, i got a book on order, um, Model A Mechanics Handbook, so hopefully, uh, It'll give me some uh, some info on what to do. I want to get the uh, the wooden mounting blocks for the cab and the rubber shims, I guess, that uh, that adjust for door gaps and things like that. I, I've got to do that because the doors, you know, they the same day that I got the seat from Matt, uh, I took the hinges loose on the doors and the hinges and loosened them on the cab. But I don't have door pins, hinge pins, so uh, I got them loose and then I was able to just get nails so at least the doors are hung on all three hinges on both sides. But they don't line up. Uh, I don't know if it's just because I got a twist in the body, a twist in the frame. I got to level everything out. Um, but just trying to, trying to make some kind of headway. You know, here's... Uh, you know, fenders and the hood and the old engine. Anybody who's got any uh, tips on how I can fire this thing up before I put it in the car, I'd really like to do that. Because if this works, this flat four, um, I want to put a V8 in the truck. I'd like to put a V8. Um, but if this four-cylinder works, I'll put it in there for now just so that I can... Uh, enjoy the truck a little bit um, can always take it apart so that's you know something I'm kicking around something that I would like to do just see um, the other thing I need is the uh, the upper roof wood kit um, this is the one that came out of the truck uh, and it, it's not too bad other than these front front corners they're really non-existent anymore uh, so I, I think I need these. I've got some measurements for the cab, but I think I need these for the location of the B pillar, uh, the wood over there, um, goes into these slots and it's got a couple of bolt holes for the flange on the inside of the, the back of the cab there. And then it's got the forward pin above the windshield that goes in here somewhere. Um, but I think that sets my a pillar to B pillar distance. Uh, I do, like I said, I do have a dimensional sheet that I printed out, um, but that would make it a whole lot easier if it just had the, the the slot for the pillar, the back of the door, the B pillar, 
and then it had a hole up here to match up with the bolt uh, by the windshield. Um, yeah, so so not a whole lot, nothing real exciting, but I did want to uh, share the updates with, uh, with the guys that I've been chatting with uh, outside of the YouTube. Um, the other thing I've been working on is right here, uh, trying to get this bugger apart. I just can't get the steering wheel to come loose. Um, it seized on there pretty good. So this is like day three now. Some penetrating oil on there. The uh, uh, advance and the spark uh, levers, they're all seized up too. So I was hoping to get the steering wheel off so that I could take it off and then spray some penetrating oil down in there. I just can't get them to turn. I can't get them to move. Uh, steering box and everything works good though. Um, so... You know, I'm think I'm kicking around using this thing, putting a new wheel on it. As long as I can get the the levers to work, you know, I don't. I plan on updating uh, the the distributor to where I don't need the spark advance and see if I can get rid of having to use the levers. But uh, you know, for right now, it is what I have, so I'm trying to work with what I got. And uh, so, you know, looking for any ideas, suggestions, tips from anybody out there. Uh, Working with these stock Model A's, I, I built a couple and I, I did aftermarket frames. Um, so this is just kind of some new territory for me and, uh, you know, um, it is what it is. You know, they, I kind of, this is the, uh, the idea, I think. This is what I'm going for. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to just do a satin black, though. I, uh. I really like the satin black finish. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, I was thinking about running the stock wire wheels. Um, maybe even getting like a set of 30-31 fronts that are the 19 inch, I think. I don't know if they'll bulk to this, but I uh, thought it'd be cool to run kind of bigs and littles with the uh, the old school spoked rims. Um, just some ideas I've been kicking around. i got to get some tubes for the tires. i got to... You know, just to make it a roller, I got to get some things. But uh, other than that, you know, things are are going, just going real slow. Uh, but again, Matt, thank you very much. I appreciate the seat. It's going to do this project a whole lot of good. Um, and Jim, thank you for bringing the seat. I know you guys came up for a swap meet. I appreciate you guys uh, loading that up and bringing it up this way for me. Um, again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't thank you enough. Love the videos, everybody. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try and keep up. <laughs> uh, it doesn't seem to be working out so hot, but, you know, uh, we'll, we'll try and do a little bit more. And uh, and I, I, I watch all of your guys' videos. Um, I love the updates. And uh, like I said, any, any input anybody can provide, greatly appreciated. All right. And uh, you guys take care. We'll talk to you later.